So when I was in elementary school, um, I used to smoke weed and drink. So probably as young as, uh, you know, fourth grade. And uh, so, you know, I was doing drugs and drinking as a young kid. And um, let's see, when I, in high school, when I got to high school, is where I really started going off the deep end. And I got busted for a quarter million dollar steroid bust um, my senior year of high school. And I was looking at facing 15 years of 15 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. And from there, it created a lot of uh, a fight between my parents because they turned me in. And so I moved out on my own with my girlfriend at the time. And I ended up, uh, her dad was a huge drug dealer here in town. I was just a young kid. And uh, he got me into growing weed. And I, grew, I made $3,000 of my first little crop. And I liked that fast money. And so I started um, doing 99 plants per room hundreds of felony and so I always kind of my life uh, just pushed everything to the limit as, as hard and fast as I could go and uh, that 99 plant room got me about thirty thousand dollars on my first crop and so from there um, I started packing out rooms five houses in Spokane um, for seven years 99 plants room just people pay me money to come set up shop and I'd start you know, take care of it and get rid of it and uh, so also during that time, I was dealing rock cocaine on the lower South Hill Altamont area here in Spokane, which is a super hardcore area of the city. And, um, you know, my life was just a wreck. And I was very suicidal during that time, too. Like I said, I had all the money in the world. Um, but I was miserable, empty, hopeless. I tried suicide nine times. Everything from 200 hits of speed to 48 sleeping pills on one occasion, overdoses, I'm just miserable. I tried to kill myself in my garage one day, I'm just asphyxiate myself, everything. So I was just hopeless, miserable, but all I knew um, was just who I hung out with and stuff, just that drug scene and stuff. And, um, yeah, that was my life, just paranoid, tormented, always looking out my rear view mirror, um, my mini blinds, just always on the run, and I just hated life. I had no hope, no peace. I was in my living room floor one night all by myself. And I was hopeless, miserable, paranoid. Like I said, I'd been always living my life, looking out my mini blinds, my rear view mirror, just growing weed in Spokane and all over and doing a lot of drug dealing and pushing, you know, I pushed millions of dollars worth of cocaine and meth and I ended up, my own addiction was uh, um, you know, close to $4,000 a month. And I hated that lifestyle. I couldn't quit. I didn't know any. I didn't know any different. Um, so fast forward, I was uh, in my living room floor one night, all by myself, just hating life, realizing I'm a cokehead, you know, and all the drugs I was doing, and I didn't know a way out. So I went and grabbed my assault rifle, loaded it up, threw it to my head, just all by myself, and I was gonna check out. This was my tenth suicide attempt. Um, I was gonna end my life that night, and. Um, I just uh, kind of called out on Jesus. I figured I would just take a chance to see if God was for real. And uh, as that guns to my head, man, finger on the trigger, I just said, Jesus, if you're for real, you got to show yourself to me. Otherwise, I'm out of here. And when I called out on that name that night all by myself in my living room floor, he showed up powerfully. It was the most powerful experience I've ever had in my life. And uh, when the Holy Spirit came, he instantly gave me peace and joy two things that all the money, all the toys could never, could never buy, like, you know what I mean? Just that encounter with Jesus. And um, I felt all the weight of the world just lift. All that torment, paranoia, paranoia just instantly left my life. And I was a new baby right there on my uh, living room floor. And um, that decision cost me everything. Um, man, I lost all my friends. I didn't have anybody. I didn't have one person to stick by my side with that decision. But I knew what happened that night on my living room floor all by myself when Jesus came into my life and he changed me. I never touched or used another drug ever since that day. Jesus saved my life and uh, he met me right where I was at in life, just in a bad place. And he changed my life. And um, I'm a youth pastor now at Calvary Spokane and I, um, I do a skate church ministry in Indoor State Park, uh, reaching skaters. And youth, we do a lot of huge outreaches, and we we'll go back into the most hardcore areas in Spokane, the West Central, Hilliard, downtown. Do a lot of street ministry and outreaches where we lift high the name Jesus, and uh, 
and we pump out our testimonies and win souls. And so God's on the move in Spokane. And so everything that Satan meant to take my life out with, God forges a weapon to go right back in and take enemy's territory. My name is Jeff Ross, and this is my testimony.